I think this roof is gonna cave in at some point. I don't know what it is, but every single time I start the dishwasher after it finishes, it sounds like the roof is... will fall down. It will collapse on my head eventually at some point. I know for a fact it will. But the hell with it. Just hopefully it lands on the other side of the room, right now on top of me in the middle of playing a game. Hello everybody, welcome back to another evening. I can only do so much Team Affinity things for so long before my eyes start to turn purple. My eyes are just completely different colors by the time I'm attempting to do that. There is a lot of things to do, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing something completely different than that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what you might be looking at on your screens right now is a lineup of people who just so happen to be in the same family. This has been two years in the making since I did this last. You might be looking at this lineup right now and be asking a lot of questions to yourself and again I do not blame anybody for doing so. One of the questions you might be asking is why the hell is Vlad Sr. playing center field? Vlad Sr. is playing center field this evening because really if it wasn't him then it would have been Dante and there's really no other explanation for it. He just happened to be the one that I chose to play in center field. I believe in him. I believe in Vlad to have a good game in center. Another question you might be asking is, is why wouldn't I just wait until they released a Craig Biggio who could play behind the plate? Because you can simply not trust that anymore. There has been many times in the past where we have all expected cards to be released and then they just never happened. Perfect example, Adley Rushman came out last year. We all thought he was going to have a Future Stars version at some point. That would have been amazing. It never happened. So I will not count on them to drop a Biggio who can play behind the plate. I did this in a way where the team is not going to be the best overall. It just happens to make the most sense. I could have used Ken Griffey Jr. in center field and then just had Contreras behind the plate. And then I could have just put Senior on the bench and then the other Contreras on the bench. But I want to do this to the point where it actually makes sense and every single person in the lineup is related. So that is pretty much all that really needs to be said. I'm not going to be doing anything pitching related this game because I think that would be less than possible to do. There's definitely not enough pitchers in this game who are related to even fill the bullpen and rotation. You'd be lucky to probably get like three or I don't know. I have fucking no idea. Buddy on Philadelphia who is shitting on the Jays. He has a brother who's a pitcher, I think. Or is he a pitcher? Hopefully I don't go up against somebody who has an amazing record because the last time I played with a team who just really wasn't insane or anything, I played somebody who was 20 and 2. I'm hoping to play somebody the opposite of that, maybe 2 and 20. So let's do it! I am actually very excited to use this team for once. Most teams I put together, I'm just like, damn, why did I do that? This is not a good idea. I need a damn haircut at this point. I'm starting to look like Wolverine if he stepped on a live electrical current. This is very pathetic. Okay, he has Tanana, so that's... That might be alright. It might be good, it might be- it might be very bad. It might be bad because it's a pitcher I've talked so negatively about. And usually when that's the case, it just- it's never good. Why- don't even tell me he's playing at a time where the shadows are going to be a problem. Q-tip 115. Oh, this is a nice time, actually. There's one thing that I've noticed a lot about this game is that if you kind of play in the evening, the lighting is spectacular. Did you see that? That stopped in the air! Let's forget that happened. There must be no win. Well, this is also going to be interesting because I decided to use this fucking guy. I was going to play BR tonight. I'm not even bullshitting. Sounds weird to say, but I swear to shit I was going to. The only reason I didn't is because I had like five guys in my lineup who were playing down very bad. I didn't want to do that. All right, that's a good sign. I would rather walk into a pancake house and ask if the TVs are on sale than to play BR tonight and just fail miserably. How fast was that? The one thing I noticed about this stadium, because I've played at it a lot, is that fly balls are not very forgiving. It seems like balls die here. Wait a minute, that's staying in? Good. Walk him. Oh yeah, that is a nice at bat if I've ever seen one. Come on, Craig. Cash your son in, buddy. Or just do the opposite. Dude, I feel bad for this guy already. I feel like a terrible human being that I started crochet. I'm serious. This is just kind of sick to do to humans. I'm just putting this guy through misery right now. Oh, 
That's a gold glover over there. How in the blue fuck did he even put that in play? Oh, I, I might not feel bad anymore. You stupid idiot. All right, I don't feel bad at all anymore. Why do I feel like this? Whoa, what is that? I feel like this outing might go south very quick. Right, nice bounce back, asshole. Why is it always the unexpected person? High in the air out to center field. What? I don't think any gust of wind would have been keeping that in the ballpark. See if Crochet can do something. You just get a hanging curveball with a pitcher, then it's a base hit. That was bad. Jesus, I might be somehow in the zone right now. He was caught that in the air. Come on, Dante. If Biggio can't cash his son in, who's going to? This is green light. I don't give a rat's ass. Send it into the sky. Holy, f what is that light in, le in left field? In left center, I mean. Get out. This might turn into a derby. I don't know why this guy's continuing to throw low fastballs. Oh my fuck. I would have thought if any of the balls were to leave, that one was going to leave. Yeah, scary. Sit down. Why do I feel like that card is going to be an absolute nightmare as well? Was I the only one who saw the crochet released on the stream or whenever the... Or whatever, no, it wasn't a stream. Where the, where the fuck did they release it? I don't even know. Wherever the fuck they released I think it was Twitter maybe. And they showed it. I didn't even realize it was a fucking starter. I didn't even realize it until they released the Team Affinity and I looked at it. Well, that was Trout, so I didn't expect anything else. That was amazing, actually. Trout is the best card in this game, and it's not even a debate. There's not even, like, a close second or third. I think it's just obvious. What do you think will happen if I try to backdoor this? Something good? Oh, that didn't even look like it was going to be there. I don't know if I've ever felt more in this zone. I have never felt it. This does not happen much. Who does he think he is throwing a high curveball? I think this guy realizes the team I'm using. That curveball is so slow, it's getting lost in the sky. That would have 100% left again if I was on it. If he keeps throwing high curveballs, that is 100% his plan. Why talk about giving it all for the team? Come on, Crochet, you pile of shit. No more home runs, you idiot. He's probably very mad. He's probably very, very angry at that. That was Ortiz, I believe, too. Man, this guy's team is insane. Soriano, he had Ortiz. He has Chipper, Trout. Who the fuck else did he have? This is getting worrisome now because he's he's starting to be on the fastball and that's when you know you're screwed. If you're using somebody like this and they start being on the fastball, there's nothing more scary. All right, that works. That ball is absolutely right, well, I think he's sitting on that now. I don't think he's waiting for any other pitch at this point. I might not throw a fastball the rest of the game. Oh, it's the first one I maybe missed the whole damn game. Look at Dante destroying everything he sees. It's like his son. I don't know what the fuck Vlad was just doing, but he did not step up to the play with a baseball bat. May have been a McDonald's french fry he just stepped up to the play with. That's a fucking nice hustle from the pitcher for once. Yeah, this motherfucker is gonna be just waiting for another fastball at this point. That's a fucking terrible at bat. I somehow got the K. Jesus Christ. I might, I'm taking him out maybe. If I was losing, he would have been out the last inning he was up. I don't like using this damn guy. I never really have. Jesus, locate a fastball, why don't you? Man, this guy, he might be trying to do that. There's no way you throw that many high fastballs and not mean to throw it. Everybody's leaning into it. This is gonna be a bad inning. This is that inning of the game. Mother of God, mother of good God. This is the last inning he's pitching. 
That is just that motherfucker. I might not be getting the results I want, but I sure might be locating pitches. Out here looking like a Harvard school poet, I swear to shit. Look at this. That kind of looked fair for a second. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straight away. Again. He was right fucking beside it. Look at Dante. Pathetic. That'll be it for him. Thank God. Not a bad outing. It wasn't the best you've ever seen. Actually, it may have been all right. I just gave up three solo shots, I think was the problem. This guy with his fucking high curveball. This guy is legitimately using pinpoint for the first time or he's meaning to do it. Jesus, Contreras is destroying everything he sees. What the fuck? That might be for the best. Get somebody up here who can actually do something. Every damn person I have on the bench is a lefty. I got Griffey Sr., Jr., and both the Seeger brothers. And a boy, Bo with the clutch hit. Tell me Dante isn't doing something now. He's been hitting the ball the hardest out of everybody, maybe. Look at him, he's a fucking machine. I failed beyond belief. Yeah, that would have been great. You give up a lead off. Oh, this is where it gets interesting with Vlad. When you gotta move around and shit, might be the only time he's a problem. Gagne is either out here making people look foolish or people are making him look foolish. There's no in between. Jesus. Paul didn't even leave his hand yet. Look at Vlad. I haven't seen him miss one damn play yet. Should have brought a righty in. 90% of my lineup is righties. That is 100% the hardest ball ever hit. Second down? This, he's hitting everything. Bullshit. I don't know the last time I've been more in the zone. No fucking chance. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Everybody got in on the action today. Right down the middle and man <sighs> what? I don't know. Was that good? That may have been pathetic or good. Oh, go screw off, Gary. Today. I saw it coming a mile away. You don't bring in Ricky Henderson off the bench and then not steal with him. Dante is a triple shy of the cycle. He can do it. He's got the speed. Well, that's shitty. Might not be a fucking triple. That might even count as a hit somehow. He's just hitting. He's just hitting everything. You can't say anything else, really. That should have been destroyed. In fact, it was destroyed. It just should have left the fence. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Where was that going? I think that was such a bad pitch, he didn't even know what the hell was going on. This is gonna land. Oh, thank God. I cannot deal with the stress. If that landed, that would have been unbelievable amounts of sweat stress. Well, that would have been cooler if that was Dante. I was honest as shit, maybe the best I've played this year, I feel like. I may have had other games where I put up a shitload of more hits and runs, but this game, I may have felt the best. What did I eat? Every time, you have to think of what you eat when you play the best. I had kale salad. I don't want to eat that every day. <laughs> 